Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to this series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 19, and today we're talking about the Effects tab. Let's load up a new preset and go to the Effects section located on the top right. So what we first see here is a default delay and a default reverb. So for now, let's go and remove these by clicking None above the name. Now what we see is this FXA, and we have three slots here for three different modules for the FXA tab. We also have an FXB tab, and that gives us another three different slots for three additional modules. And below that, we have an aux tab that gives yet another three different slots for different modules. So now the interesting thing about how these work is how you want to route them. So by default, this over here on the top left says A is going into B. So all of your effects on the A tab, all these three modules, are then going to be fed into FXB, getting processed left to right. So FXA is going to go one, two, and three. And then from there, it's going to go to FXB, and then three, or then four, five, and six, and so on and so forth. So we can always change the volume that FXA goes into FXB and so on and so forth by using this bus A. And as you can see, we move this. This little knob also moves as well because they are linked. It is the same knob right here. So double clicking that going back to default, we can do the same thing with bus B. Now let's say you want to route it a little bit differently. So on the top left here, this is A is going into B. And if we click this here, we can reverse it saying B is going into A. And now FXB is then getting set into FXA. And we can always see this little line. It might be hard to see on the screen, but we can kind of see where the signal is flowing. So it's coming out of B and going into FXA. Now, what's also very interesting is that these effects can also run in parallel, meaning that A and B are now independent from each other, and they're receiving their signals from filter 1 and then from filter 2. So if you remember from before, we can always send a different engine to a different filter by going to filter 1 mix right here, filter 1 on the left, filter 2 on the right. And now these filters are getting sent independently to these FX buses. So it's very interesting how you could route different types of effects and so on and so forth. So moving on from that, we have our aux tab here. Now we have the send, which is basically sending our signal to these three modules. And it's also located on the front of the synth as well. So this send here on the uh, mi kind of middle right-ish of the synth here is the same one you'll see here for the send. So if we turn this all the way down and we look back over here. This is down if we turn this all the way up and then we go back to our effects tab, we can see that's all the way up as well. So that's basically in a nutshell how this is going to be routed here as well. And then below that you have the return, which is also linked to this small little section here. So if we go up and we'll load up a new preset again, and by default, let's, let's turn these off here. We can always click this little power button to bypass these effects in case we have something set up or saved. We can always turn it off real quick and then listen like that. So right now, if I go into our synth, let's go to an analog and we have a saw wave going on right here. Now, as an easy quick fix, we can always go send level right here. And that reverb is getting processed in this aux tab right over here. We can always turn down the send from here as well. And the return. And that's basically how this routing works in a nutshell here. In the next couple of videos, we're going to be diving into every single module here because if we select this list here on the delay, there's quite a few different ones to choose from. And also there's a lot of different types of presets to choose these from. So before we end this video, one last thing I did kind of want to talk about. So let's go to new preset again and back into our effects. Let's say we remove this reverb and we do a lot of weird stuff to this delay right here. And we're like, I like this delay. And maybe you want to copy this section here. So we can always hit this arrow down here. And on the top right where it says copy effects, if we click this, we can copy this exact module to all any other of the modules that we want. So for example, let's say copy this to FX1B, which is going to pop up right over here. So select 1B. And then bam, now we have the same exact delay with the same settings on a different tab. So that's an easy way to copy your different settings. Moving on from that, you can also save this specific type of delay or, or whatever you're working on. If you have a module and you created a cool effect, you can always select into presets and you can save it as a certain type of preset and then name it, which is very cool because you can make your own type of effects chains or different modules and stuff like that, and then save that as a preset to load in different patches in the future. So there's a lot of cool possibilities that you can do. And then one of the last things here that's kind of easy to uh, overlook maybe, but you can grab these modules and move them down, up and down. I actually do that quite often. Maybe I'm like, I want this happening before or so on and so forth. So you can kind of move these around if you really want to. They can go over all the all the way to the aux tab and to the FXB tab and so on and so forth. So that's basically, basically how you kind of use this FX tab. So 
in the coming videos, we're going to talk about all these different modules because they are fantastic effects. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.